When it came, you make it clap Control me, better ta 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 I'm grabbing on your hips, hit it from the back Control me, better ta 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 Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Shake it for me, baby, come on, shake it for me, yeah Hey, Dad, you want to see the spicy vegan? I'm Sherry I'm Derek This is Derek This is Liz Today we have a special, we're making paella with Liz. Now look, we met Liz a couple weeks ago because of our daughter Tori. And we were talking about how she's vegan and we're vegan. And she was saying she makes great Spanish food. And one of the things I've been dying, dying to have again is paella. My college friend used to make it. And when she said, I make a vegan paella, I was like, like, please sign come, us please up. come show us. So we're going to be learning right alongside yeah. of you guys. And we're going to write down the recipe and we're going to put all Liz's amazing information down in the description box so that you guys can make this too. Oh, yeah. Why are you to be here? <laughs> that's, 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 her taste that's her man. He's, He's a taste tester. I'm here just to see what is going on. Right. Right. You probably have this a couple times, right? right? And we actually met Liz doing yoga with Tori because Liz owns the gym. What is, what, the gym is in Burbank. Yeah, it's called The Camp. The camp in Burbank, which the lighting is, is cool, y'all. Super, super cool. <laughs> and Tori does yoga there on Thursday nights, and Liz teaches classes all through the week. It was very, very cool. And we met Dom yeah. at Tori's Wellness Day because he was supporting Liz, who was doing a workout with all of the participants. Yeah, but so I heard you've been working cool. on the IT band. I heard you've been working on the IT band. I hate it. I hate it. That's my favorite job. <laughs> my daughter, when she does yoga with us, she loves messing with us, especially the guys, and making us do our IT band. Yeah. It always makes you question my life. But I hate it. It's gonna be interesting for me because I'm usually the chef giving Talking. Derek yeah. all the do this, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but now, now you got gonna... two of those. Yeah, yeah. Well, now... <laughs> now let's do this. I'm gonna practice. <laughs> I'm gonna practice being quiet. Mm -hmm. And no, you, you asked all the good questions. And I, like, I, I mean, I just want you to say do this, do that. Okay. So for the vegan paella in the recipe, we're gonna be using olive oil. It's oh, any type of vegan or veggie broth as well. I chose, what is it called? Ocean's Halo. The no chicken vegan broth is fantastic Ooh. and gives like a, <laughs> yeah. like a, almost like a, what is it better than bouillon? Like yeah, undertone. which I use a lot It's actually. lit, it's yeah. really good. The secret ingredient to any paella is saffron. Ooh. Saffron. Ooh. You can sub it for turmeric, but saffron is like the biz. That's like what makes wow. it. Amazing. The little strands, I've seen this, but I never cooked with it. Yeah, the little strands. You put okay. it in the broth. Yeah. Like saffron. It's really good. <laughs> and then we've got onion, red bell pepper. I'm very lazy, so I get like the pre minced garlic, pepper. but we're going to need like either garlic cloves or minced garlic. Um, and then, personal preference, you're supposed to put a half cup of diced tomato, mm -hmm. but I do half diced tomato and half sofrito. Sofrito Whoa. is a cooking base that's used in a lot of like Latino recipes, mm -hmm. but it's mostly like a cilantro. Mm -hmm. We just love cilantro. cilantro. Yeah. It's like a mix, so it's a tomato base, but it just has a little bit more Zhuzh. Zhuzh. Oh, um, and then we love the rice. <laughs> rice for paella is really specific. You want to mm. use either, this one is just long jasmine rice, so this is our backup plan in case it's terrible. Okay. But this is the rice that we're going to be using. It's mm. arborio, but mm. most people arborio. use bomba rice. Which bomba I couldn't bomba. find it the store. <laughs> okay, sorry. But <laughs> most people use bomba rice. Um, and then we've got, rice, that. we're gonna end up using frozen peas to top it off. I love frozen peas. Um, mm -hmm. So that's gonna our, happen. Our vegan beef stew, we love frozen peas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's amazing. And then it's actually really easy, other than the saffron, the ingredients, as far as seasoning, is really simple. It's mostly smoked and sweet paprika, mm. salt and pepper to taste, parsley, lemon wedges as like a garnish Ooh. finisher, and that's it. Wow. And then on the side of that, we're gonna be making possible picadillo, which is just like a Latin ground beef. So that 
that one's really simple. Pretty much all the same ingredients. I like to use a little bit of spicy taco seasoning with it. Because I like it too. Why nothing wrong with spicy taco? Have a little extra spice. It's pretty much the same ingredients. We'll be adding one and a half roasted potatoes, uh, just cubed, with it. Oh yeah, and then in the paella, we're going to be adding vegan shrimp. Vegan shrimp. Yeah, we have vegan shrimp that we season with spicy yeah. taco seasoning. So regular. Yeah. But Liz, let me ask you, what, 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 made you, what made you turn vegan? Honestly? I, You're a vegan. Yeah, we're no, a vegan. That, that's actually how it was. But <laughs> I was curious, mm -hmm. just being an athlete my whole life, I was like reading about it, and it's weird. Right before I went vegan, I was doing keto. Mm -hmm. So I was eating like all red meat, cheese, mm -hmm. everything super fatty. And then I met someone that was vegan, and we kind of talked about it. And I'm one of those people that still to this day, I never say never. Yeah. Yeah. But I was just like, all right, I'm going to try it. Yeah. And well, then I just been continuing to try it. So mm -hmm. most of our, most of you guys out there are vegan curious. You're not like, you know, vegan all day, every day. Yeah, you're vegan curious. We're you're in trying, between. We call you're ourselves trying in to between. get right. You're trying to get healthy. You're trying to bring new things to your family for health reasons. A lot of people out there want to maintain a healthier weight, lower cholesterol, lower their blood pressure, and really, really live a healthier life. And so a lot of people are vegan curious. So that's a great place to start. And what we're bringing to you guys on this channel is actually we're veganizing all of our favorite foods. Yes, that's what I was gonna you know, say. All that. of our favorite recipes. Yeah. That's what Sherry and I like to do. We like to take the things we grew up having and veganize them. And when she started talking about that, I was like, she's like, I want to take things from when I was younger yep. and make it vegan. That I was, was like, that's exactly challenge. what we do. Come do it with us. Yeah. <laughs> no, are you vegan? I'm a actually pescatarian, but pescatarian. since me and Liz have been dating for so long, Okay. The majority of my meals are vegan. Yeah, you guys come together. Yeah, well, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, I got my breakfast swag, but she got the dinner and the lunch. Uh, yeah, you can also get breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Yeah, my breakfast is yeah. great, yeah. but. Uh, what was dope was seeing how many options and, and, and varieties there were of things being vegan. So vegan mac and cheese, vegan mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. and even when it comes to the pasta burgers, or um, I love like Mediterranean like dishes, so she yeah. always finds like the perfect substitute without it being like... That's what I'm talking! You know, <laughs> not, not like a... It's not don't like a feel substitute. Like you're missing out. Yeah, I'll be exact. I'll feel like you're missing out. Yeah. It's, it's, and a lot of times we mess with our friends. So they'll come over yeah, yeah, and yeah. she'll make a bunch of stuff and we don't tell them it's vegan and then they're grubbing, they're vibing, they're like, man, this is good, this is fine, we're like, yeah, it's vegan and it blows their mind. Right, right. They didn't know that was Okay. Yeah, on this so, channel, I always say vegan what? Because that's what my dad yeah. says, vegan so, what? So, <laughs> you see an older couple in our mid-50s right? and this young couple mm -hmm. who are doing the same sexy thing by dating <laughs> together <laughs> and cooking together. And keeping it hot in the Keep kitchen, in the kitchen. by being healthy and learning about each exactly, other exactly. through food. Exactly. How amazing is that? Exactly. Well, vegan food, like Liz was just saying, like the ingredients are not crazy strange. It's all how you flavor it, all how you season it. You want to have Indian seasoning, Italian seasoning, Mexican, Spanish. Ethiopia. What do you want? You can really turn anything that's vegan into that. Yeah. You really can. So we ready to get cooking? Let's do it! Let's get cooking! Yeah. Do you guys like spicy? Love spicy. Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna we're, we're, the, we're the spicy we're vegans. The shrimp. We'll we're the spicy the vegans. Of course we got spicy. We'll add a okay, good. The shrimp. I brought spicy chorizo to add to the bottom of it. Spicy junkie. Like mix it together. I'm a spicy junkie. Like I, I add. Oh yeah, what are we saying? We're adding sausage. Yeah, the sausage chorizo. So mm -hmm. just yeah, just with, with this with, with, with the shrimp. shrimp. That's gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna do medium high heat. Where I am now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Until it simmers. Okay. 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 Okay together, yeah. which is kind of rare, because what happens is it kicks me out the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come for me. So uh, that's why I do breakfast, you know, yeah. dinner, because yeah. you know, breakfast is See, I'm always, I'm always I'm sous chef. I'm always like the one, you know, sorry, cooks, I clean it up. Crew. I'm the clean up crew. Yeah, see, now desserts, I feel like that's our thing. Yeah. You know Oh, we got to start That's when we come. Like, she does. Okay, it's real bad. Sure, we're going to have a fire later. I already spilled that she bought the vegan um, s'mores in the bag. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's fire, though. Fire. Like, vegan, <laughs> ice cream, yep. you know, vegan ice cream. Vegan cake. Mm -hmm. Vegan donuts. Oh, donut friend? Oh, donut my God. Oh, what's your donut you love, Sharon? Have you guys a donut friend? 
No, but in the, the vegan donuts. festival, we've gone to um, the donut ring. Donut ring, donut ring. I know. Sorry, love. Okay. okay. I'm going to take that. It's just this one? You want to, technically, we need like two teaspoons. Which okay. is like, this will be one, like one teaspoon. You think so? I do. Let's do two of them. I don't know I was wishing that they would. Is this really expensive? Yeah, it's gold. Okay, let's just put one in. No. <laughs> so, all right, so I have two teaspoons uh -huh. of saffron, and you want me to just... You just, like, bring it up and put it in the broth. In the broth. Yeah. Okay. I'm really coming over it. to see that. Okay. I love these little containers. Thank you. So, you guys have seen a paella pan? Yes. Before? Yes. You don't have one. Do no. Not, not at this house. But, but, if you, but after making this, I'm going to get one. I know it's more flat bottom than this, but I think, like, the depth... They have... Um, they have some pans under, down under. I don't, I have no idea, but I know somewhere down under. Somewhere down under. Somewhere down under. What your goal yeah. to achieve is, which honestly it doesn't always happen, so like, mm -hmm. don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. It'll still taste good. Right. But you're trying to achieve like a snap, crackle, pop okay. sound. Okay. Because it's forming like a, almost like a burnt crust. Okay. So there's going to be a part of the process where I tell you we cannot stir it or touch it anymore. Oh. It's very weird. Okay. It, it's okay. But you need the right pan. But otherwise, no, yeah. Good. So you want to go flat bottom pan. There's also, if you look up like a paella pan, mm -hmm. it's normally like this, but with two yeah. handles like this on each side, like that. Okay. But this works beautifully. It's just for heat distribution because you're looking for that like crusty, like burnt mm -hmm. bottom. Okay. So normally, it's just give it a little more. you don't want a flat bottom. Yeah, no. You want a nice curve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get it out your way. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you get kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Start is putting together all the protein, the veggies, everything that's going to be mixed in before mm -hmm. we add in the rice and the broth and just, just so you know, let it be. These shrimp need to be cooked like to death. So I don't know if we should do these first. No, you cook them before we put them in. So you have a job. Oh, so, so, we, so, <laughs> so we're going to cook these first, right? Yes. So I'm going to cook those first. Can I cook them in there? Yeah. Yeah. Just let me know when they're like three to five minutes to be done. Okay. We're going to cook these first. We're going to cook these first. All that seasoning in there. Now this is spicy. We use spicy seasoning, and if you guys don't like it spicy, then, back up off of it. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to pick a spicy seasoning blend. Don't be a whip. Go spicy. Oh no, that is not. <laughs> go spicy or go home. Do not go, go spicy or go home. <laughs> Some people can't handle spices. Don't call them a whip. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. We're gonna put all the spices together so when it's easier when it's ready to add it. Teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 we got oh, another oh, shot oh, teaspoon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. And get the bad boy open. From fighting? From fighting? Yeah. No, yeah, from it's from stunts. It's stunts on set. Oh no, yeah. that looked like a chunk is gone. What are stunts yeah. on? What side were you on? No, I fell. I fell. And I, I fell. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, I, I scratched on my hand. I'm um, oh. breaking the fall oh. on the way. So and then just kind of swelled up really bad. Well, it's been healing now. Yeah. So if you guys know you're gonna be seeing him in. Roadhouse. Yes, sir. Roadhouse. Uh, Do you know when it comes out? Yeah. No official dates just yet, but it's going to come wait, out. Who's in, who in that with you? So it's uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Conor McGregor, Billy Magnuson, Daniel, Daniela from uh, Fast and Furious, me as well, Dominic Columbus. You got Lucas Gage, you got Kathy Jean, you got Arturo. What's up? This is a lot of... We got a banger, we got a banger cast. You know what I'm saying? One of sharing our favorite movies is Roadhouse. And I was telling him that, and he, I was like, oh, I love this movie right up. He's like, I'm going to be in a new one. I'm like, no way. You're like, yeah, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> oh, awesome. So we're just going to create some, a little, what we want is a little crust on these shrimp to create some texture. And it's going to take a little while. It's probably about, it's going to be about five minutes on each side. We want there to be like that shrimp texture, that shrimp consistency. And right now they're just a little on the rubbery side. So we're going to, we're going to keep moving them around to get that crust. The smoked paprika. Okay. We're going to put in one teaspoon of sweet Paprika, or just like regular paprika. Our broth is boiling. Our broth is boiling. Okay, so we're going to let it 
So our broth is boiling, mm -hmm. so we're gonna reduce it to low and just keep it warm. Yep. Only one of these? Yep, one of those. Okay. Bye. 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 One. <laughs> so two teaspoons of smoked paprika, mm -hmm. one teaspoon of sweet paprika. Mm -hmm. They're both like juicing. You know, like, mm. don't be exact. <laughs> That's exactly what Sari is Sorry, like, taste your way through it, experiment, yeah. the play. So, like, yeah. giving <laughs> measurements right now is insane. I think one of the main reasons I take everyone out of the kitchen is because, like, the strength has changed by the end. But I'll tell you what I'm having. And then we're going to put two teaspoons of sea salt. And we have to put that bad boy in there by the back. You got to kind of get a good rhythm in it. This bad boy. We've been together about three years. Okay. Um, How long have you been living together? We just moved in together in January. Wow. Uh, but some would argue. Some would argue. <laughs> some would argue that we've been living together longer. <laughs> nah, because one of those things where like I had my own crib, but she was over all the all time. time. So it was as if she lived there every exactly. day. It's no big together. difference though, because it's, it's not your space and this space. Exactly. Right. It's now our it's, space. Our our names are on the lease. Yep. Yep. So now it's <laughs> that chapter. What you doing now? I'm getting the minced garlic ready. Again, we're guesstimating, but like about 10 cloves of garlic. We like, yeah, in Puerto we Rico, garlic. we like garlic. We oh, love you know. garlic. People know that if they watch our channel, you know we would be throwing yeah, garlic, tons of garlic, garlic in. Garlic is the tea. Who knows? More might end up in there. Mm -hmm. We shall Sherry see. always said no vampires are coming to our house. Yeah, I know. No, they don't want Definitely not. <laughs> the best food to have when you're in a relationship, garlicky breath, it's fine. <laughs> it's just, just us. It's just, just us. us. It's just us. Exactly. Two? Okay. 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 Two? Okay.
Okay. A lit base. So I buy that at the regular grocery store? Yeah. It's a Goya brand. So anywhere that sells Goya typically has mm -hmm. it. So I'll normally put like a fourth cup of each. If I go over, I just lessen the amount of broth um, that I put in. Yeah. So we just warmed up eight cups of broth. Okay. In normal, I actually save a cup for like a the picadillo or another dish, mm -hmm. and I'll only put in seven mm -hmm. to account for the extra to get the right size mm -hmm. to okay. absorb the cold. I'm so um, hungry right now. <laughs> if all goes well, yeah, if my science is correct, yes, yeah. this is going to be great. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. You're welcome. Thank you. We want to warm up like two tablespoons, I don't know, like one of these, of oil. A little shh. A little judge. A little judge. Okay. Give it a good coat. Where's your rum? Look at that on the table. The, rum's, the rum is over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll be nine years ago. Wow, so you beat us. Really? Yeah, five years ago. Five years. Vegan five years ago. Honestly, I've never been vegan. It was so much harder to be vegan. Like, mm. first I gained 50 pounds because I was only eating french fries. Mm. <laughs> that was the first thing that happened. Pizza, french fries, vegan pasta. Yep, anything that had vegan on it. But there weren't that many restaurants out like yeah. 10 years ago that no. yeah. had a lot of vegan options. No. So my dad, I remember for Father's Day, we were all having like a barbecue. Mm -hmm. Of course, everyone was like bringing their meat. My dad goes to the grocery store and buys every color of squash. <laughs> Specifically squash. Because he feels like that's what we can eat. And I was like, you're right. Oh. It's very cute. Though. It's, it's, cool. it's been almost 10 years. They still think that's all I get. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put in the onions and peppers. Now? Yeah, so I did two diced red peppers, mostly because Dom doesn't like red peppers, so I have to add <laughs> them. But normally, you will do them sliced, so they're like, you know, kind of okay. spread out wrap. I like them better Okay. So you get peppers. the appreciation of the flavor, but you won't have like a full bite of just right. pepper. Do you want to do all this pepper and onion? Yes. Right here? Okay. Well, the onion, I believe it's like one and a half onions. You mm -hmm. can put one to two medium. So, 10 ounces. Yeah. yeah. If you okay. like onions, you can definitely put more. Be generous. Two ounces of onions. Mm -hmm. And then we've got two diced medium sized red peppers. Okay. And then you have a small tea hat for about like three to five minutes until the onions are translucent. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love the colors. And we gotta keep going. Right. Come here. Mm -hmm. right. Gorgeous. Love you guys. Gorgeous. I just shot a pepper at you. <laughs> <laughs> We're judging it until the onions are translucent, Liz said. I kind of feel it. Sometimes I get impatient and they're not all translucent. But you guys have similar traits when it comes to cooking. Sherry gets yeah. impatient yeah. all the time like, and it's like, it's gonna be it. it's, it's fine. <laughs> I turned up the heat. I like it, I like it hot. You like it hot? Yeah, I, I like there to be a little sear on too. Yeah, or like a little bit burnt. That's how I make my plantains. You really like my plantains. Yes. So I'm wow. gonna like plantains anywhere else we go. Anymore. <laughs> Ice and thinner. Mm -hmm. So if you get like margaritas, like sweet plantains anywhere else, they're like really thick. They're like mm -hmm. one inch all the way around. I take the one inch and I cut it in half. So oh, excited. Nice. I've, I love plantains and I've always wanted to know how to cook them. Oh, and paella. They're so easy. Yeah, look. Yes and no. That's what everyone says who, who just really so these are the that. plantains that I pre sliced because I like to make and them. And that's that raw? Thin. These are, they're frozen. They're frozen? Yeah, they're pre cooked and frozen. Okay. Oh. So we just remake them, oh, re warm so them up. <gasps> so they're first made as a whole, mm -hmm. and then I'll dice them and freeze them. Wait, now they're just ready to go. You make them as a whole. Like as the whole plantain? You put the whole thing in the pan? No, you can bake them. Like if I'm gonna do the whole thing, okay, bake I'm it. gonna need to know like that. That one, <laughs> I, 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 so you can come I, back and make that one. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I need to start writing it down because I called my mom like six times to tell me how to do it every time I've done it. Like, I don't do it often enough to remember, but that's what I'll normally do. I'll dice them up and I'll freeze them because I want to cry when it's not plantain season. Mm. And if you have them in the freezer, they're ready in three months. These are cooked. You are so. So technically, it's cooked, but we pan fry them because otherwise, they're not. So you have a plantain, mm -hmm. you cut it to the thinness, you roast them, mm -hmm. and then you fry them on, and then you fry them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, yeah. What don't y'all have? I saw that. Ice. <laughs> no ice. No. <laughs> and we need some ice. 
for our own oh, reasons. Wait, what is this? It's it, a bar Bartesian. Hey, oh, it's okay. Wait, you gotta say that again. What, what is it? All a Bartesian mm -hmm. premium cocktail. Okay. Yeah, wow. it does all the hard work for you. Yeah, as you just did. Pop it in there. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. We have Mai Tais and Rum Breezes. Wait, and the alcohol is in there? You have to add the alcohol. That sounds good. That's the rum. We got the rum. That sounds good to me. They're going to be making s'mores later. I'm going to be having cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like this has another minute or two before those onions are all translucent. And this is our veggie broth with the saffron that we are just keeping warm until we're ready for it. So right. Vegan it's chorizo. Vegan chorizo from, oh. I just get the one from Trader Joe's. Yep, I know it very well. We, have this, gonna, in the, we have this from the app. Okay. So this is a first for me. I've never put chorizo in my bag before. Okay. But, I feel optimistic about it. Yeah, no, you can't try. go wrong. You can't go wrong. Does it? Because I'm in here, I'm not it smelling it. Oh, it's not so good. What does it smell like? Very <laughs> zesty. Zesty? Very zesty. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. It's a good listen. Boy. You can say chorizo. Chorizo? No, no, no. You like chorizo? No, she goes, chorizo. <laughs> the way her voice and her accent is hot AF. Oh, this voice has only been complimented as I've gotten older. <laughs> I went from being teens to so like, of course. Of course. Of course. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Of course people tease you when you're like young. Like voice. When I was 15, <laughs> I auditioned for an acting agency. My dad was sitting next to me. Uh -huh. And the girl was like, I just wish you were older oh, because you would play the best stripper <laughs> or phone sex operator. Oh my god, your father was like, yeah, my no acting like, for you. We're leaving. Um, <laughs> you're like, yeah, dad, yeah. I had just turned 15, so. <laughs> like, I think so. All right, baby, so we're ready. We're ready for the next step. If you want our mix, which was the two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, two teaspoons of salt. So nice. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Get it in there. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. And then we're going to add our approximately 10 cloves of garlic. Wow. That's the last thing you want to add so it doesn't burn. So I add it now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. This would also be the top. Yes. Oh, wait, the drinks are ready. Oh. Wait, I made it a strong one. Okay, thank you. But yeah, if I, if I had cooked the shrimp, it would have ended up so pretty. Mm -hmm. And this is where I would throw in the shrimp so that it looked like it is. So Got this it. is where you throw in whatever protein that you want. And you want to leave it for the top? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Miss, she was so asking you if you wanted a drink. You want a drink? Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like I'm working now. I'm working now. You're nervous? Oh my god. Okay, and then I get the same way. This is the um, sofrito yes. and the crushed tomatoes, the yes. chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We'll give that a little bit. The chorizo, everything is soaking into each other right now. Oh, yeah. That is so Wow, this is flavor for days. Now do you smell it? Now I smell mm -hmm. it. This is just beautiful. Wow. So that is the base for your rice. This okay. rice is going to be very happy. So now, the reason that you use arborio rice uh -huh. is because it's thicker, mm -hmm. so it takes longer to cook. So it, it absorbs all that absorb. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to put in three cups. Okay. We can put in four kind of. I think that's all that's left. Let's put one in. Mm -hmm. it. It smells amazing, right, Therese? <laughs> Four. Happy. Now we're going to keep it here without adding the broth to it. Okay. For, I would say one to three minutes. You want to wait until all the rice is like nicely coated. Okay. And almost like, imagine it like toasting. So you want to keep it, yeah, it's a medium, keep it at medium heat. Okay. 
And you just want to keep it rolling. So just letting you know, this is the last time you can stir. <laughs> that's going to be hard. Period. Wow. Okay. That's going to be hard Yeah, wait, that's going to be hard because we're always I know. constantly moving. I always have my hand in a bowl. Oh, yeah. This is the last time. So enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy the next I know. Okay, I'm going to. 60 to 90 seconds. Now that you're saying that, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Because I'm seeing more mouths here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks just so gorgeous. Yes. That is a beautiful, that's a very pretty shape of yeah. rice. Yeah, it's like a little thick ones. Yeah. They're going to be your mammy straight. Yeah. We're going to very slowly pour mm. in the broth. Okay. In about one minute. All right. Now them cocktails coming over there, girls. Mine is good. She is. We're going to get warm. Oh, yeah, yes. That's me and Gabby's <laughs> favorite thing to do. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Hey, T. Distributed, yeah. Come some of your braids. Girl, don't play if I could What did you say? If I put these braids yes. in my hair, if I put these braids in my hair, it's over for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're done right. stirring. That's it. Yep. All right. Cut off. Okay. All right, so we added the, what do we have, the broth? We added the broth till it was one inch above the rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. And now and we, we have a couple. We have a couple over. It's like a cup over. over for another dish that we're going to be okay, you know, making with it. Yeah, yeah exactly. definitely. What do you say about the rice with the flavor? Oh, when you're filling it with liquid, I think this is any time you make rice. It's you're supposed to put it to the fr finger line of your pinky above the rice. So if you put it in like this. From the top of the rice, the water should come up to here. Good. Right. So if you like a more fluffy rice, like you can play with that line, mm -hmm. but that's like your reference point. You don't come right until the very end after it's done. So wait, this goes until like seven minutes? Yeah, so two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes of it. It's kind of been rolling like that for a minute, but. Let's check on the cocktail of queens over here. What y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> we doing? ran into a slight pickle. What's wrong? Um, I'm good. <laughs> you, are, you are good, but yeah, we, we had a slight struggle. That's not a cocktail. No. This is a nice little clean mock test? round. A mock round. You tested it out. Ozzy, calm down. Ozzy is obsessed with Kira. The way he's like, he's so He's like, pick me up. He's obsessed with Kira. Aren't you, Ozzy? So yeah. Oh, hey, Domino. Hey, Domino. Now that she's been like twerking for two minutes, yeah, we're just going to take it back twerking. down to a medium. Okay. And let it have like the soft sin. Now we're just, we're just, we're toasting. The Leonard Sam. Yeah, so I want to. It's like, you guys like, oh my god, you know, I'm grinding on the bottom. And it's just something. That's the point. You know what, it's just you something. Want you want oh, you want it to burn on the bottom. You want to get a crust. Mm -hmm. It's just something about, like, long There's cooking There's actually a word too. for that, uh, for crusty rice. Do you know what the word is? I don't know, I just hope it's not this rice. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Um, what is it? Gong gong. Gong gong. What is it? Gong gong. 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 Gong yeah, just for heat distribution, oh. just like turning it around the burner. Okay. So you can do like a full flip, you can do like a push push. Oh, yeah, never about so you can feel it out. You can also see it too, like you see how the heat is getting a lot more yeah. on this side yeah. and this side's not simmering yeah. as much. Yeah. So I know the next rotation, I want to get this side to simmer more. Wow. So it's like, I don't know. Maybe no, I'm so overthinking it. No, it no, 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 it works. It's something to watch for, it's definitely. Something. Can we make it now? Vegan yeah. pica vino. Because there's more mouths here, just okay. in case we're hungry. So I'm just making it with a side of like white rice. Okay. I brought some black beans. Okay. Because you always have a backup. You always got him back. Yeah. Because it all goes wrong. That's right. Sure we need. <laughs> so we're gonna do. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, and again, I don't know how I do this. It just happens. But we're gonna start off with some onion. Yeah. I'm just gonna add the rest of the diced tomatoes that we had from mm -hmm. leftover from the other dish because tomatoes. Mm -hmm. and then we're gonna throw in just after a couple minutes of sautéing out. We're gonna add in two pots of balsamic meat. Mm -hmm. I like this dish because when I'm meal prepping, I can easily make it with like four or five packages of balsamic meat, and then we're good all week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like the back. So it's about like one to one and a half onions. Okay. Trying to be a fly on the wall when it comes to this. Then we're gonna make jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. 
okay. on the side. So I, I boiled three cups of water for two cups of rice. It's one and a half cups of water for every cup of rice. So when you put it in, if you don't know how to make white rice, you just want to take a fork and fluff it so it doesn't get sticky. And then we're going to reach it to yeah right you can yeah, see it yeah. so we're gonna test it i'll show you when it looks like all the water's almost gone and test it yeah make them cute yeah so it's like i can mix it in yeah i'll give you things can't touch it can't touch it that's the first thing we've gotten wrong we would have been mixing it Oh, it just ends up very mushy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so and it, the the bottom part doesn't form. Okay, so we keep it from being mushy. Only put it in if the bottom part forms. Okay. 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 Might not. <laughs> we don't know. It's gonna taste good. There's too many seasons not to taste good. <laughs> there you go. Either way. Good. All right. You ready? Ready. Let's break this up. Wow. I love to be over. Oh, girl. This is going to be so yummy. This looks good. Okay, all the water. Now, do you eat your own food? Do you like yeah, your own food? Yeah, it's good. What did you say, Cheryl? Do you like to eat your own food? It's weird. Not right away. I... Me? Are you guys the same sign? Because you're saying a bunch of different things that you both do. Like, you, you spill something and Sarah's like, I don't care, it's messy, it's going to taste no, good. No, Dom knows. You're I like, won't eat until like, he takes a bite and looks at me. I'm and the same way! <laughs> yeah, I care too much. I literally can't. I can't. I literally 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 can't. I care too much. Every Sunday we're over here making something and, it, and Sherry's like the last one to He's eat. like, guys, no, it's yeah. gonna be both of us. What sign are you? I'm a Scorpio. Oh no, I'm an Aquarius. No, we're not Dom's an Aquarius. Oh. What are you? I'm a Gemini. So Gemini. I'm an Aquarius. That's why I haven't dumped you. That's why I so long. Dumb she and they're like, shh. Yeah. What did you just, what did you, yeah. wait, I saw you just add it. You just so put I a dust in here. I put in a teaspoon of garlic. Garlic? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna put in sasson. Oh, sorry. Sasson. Sasson. Which is another like staple. Back in the 80s, we had the genius called sasson. You know what sasson you put, If you want to bring it down to medium, like if it's in the burn, you can. I'm just putting in like a teaspoon, a little bit more than a teaspoon. Some adobo as well, all mm -hmm. for the seasoning. This has cumin in it already. Mm -hmm. It's a cumin base, it's got a little bit more. Okay, let's just spin it out. Mm -hmm. And then you just can't go wrong with this. No. I don't like for the tomatoes to like completely disintegrate. Mm -hmm. So I wait until it's pretty much brown. Mm -hmm. And then I will add these in. Okay. So that's looking pretty yummy. Very exciting. It is. Right? Okay. Snap so you're listening for something that's snapping and popping? Yeah. It's because I get scared and I turn down the heat, but the point is for it to burn, which is just mm. so against your like natural Yes, exactly. Life. <laughs> so true. You see that side right yeah. there? How that piece of rice is kind of sticking? Yeah. You want it to like form like that. So like in a few minutes, all we're going to do is stab it. Yeah. And see if we can feel like it's forming. Like a crust? Yeah. Almost, yeah. This is just something that I like to do. Remember that broth that we saved? It's going to go in there. Oh. So I like to take spicy taco seasoning and mix it into the broth. Instead of like, you know how these packets say so you like mix it with water? Mm -hmm. Just mix it with the broth before I throw it in. Okay. She's pretty wet. Sure. You put that in, mix her up. That's it. Then before we do that, I'm gonna add these tomatoes in here. Mm -hmm. It's about like a half cup. Right. But you know, now we throw nothing away. Right. Right. Yum. So this is culandro. It's a type of sofrito or de caldo, mm -hmm. depending on where you're from. Ooh, I like the way you said that. De caldo? De caldo. <laughs> um, it's also a cooking base, just like sofrito, but it's more of a cilantro mm -hmm. base. Mm -hmm. So I end up putting a little bit of that. Since I have the broth with the taco seasoning, mm -hmm. it's kind of already got, and the tomatoes, it's got up already. Oh, you can also add a little bit of tomato paste. When did you eat the tomato sauce? At the very end, after it's cooked. Okay. So Sorry, love some peas. Up. They go on the top and then you cover it with foil for five to eight minutes. 
and that's it. And it's ready to serve. So, just because I feel like it, we're gonna put in food. So mm. in a little bit of tomato sauce. Mm. So not because nice that's thing. written anywhere. Then okay, we're gonna put just a little bit of culantro. Culantro. Right? It's kind of mm -hmm. reminds me of like a sloppy goat kind of stuff. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Hello. It's supposed to be like vegan ground beef. Mm -hmm. oh. um, that's like the idea. Okay. So real quick, actually, let's we'll put this in. We're going to throw this in there. This one? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Do it. I might even need to add a little bit of water. And then we don't have to put them all, but we're going to throw the, the potatoes in there, too. Mm, lovely. Mix them in. Love that. And then we're going to let it sim. That's it? Simmy. Yes, simmy, simmy. We're going to let it, it sim for like 15 to 20, yeah. And then we Until eat. the potatoes are tender. Nice. And then we eat. Mm -hmm. So good. So while that's happening, once we get this off the stove, I'm gonna make the plantains while this is covered in foil. Okay. About eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And I think I timed it almost. Seems pretty sharp. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mad scientist yeah. one and mad scientist two. And then two I just make it. sure in there that the potatoes are really like embedded because that's what we're really wait, waiting to cook. Okay. Get all the potatoes down in there. In there, there, like somewhere. Put them all in bed. What's going on? What's going on? What? Yes. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like popcorn. So yeah, this process, yeah, yeah. once you start hearing it, yeah, takes yeah. about one to two minutes to okay. fully form. Can you guys hear it? Like popcorn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Snap wrap, <press. laughs> So we're gonna go like this, stick the fork, mm -hmm. and you should be able to feel it. I can't explain it, but mm -hmm. it's like when you're breaking a pie crust. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Feel so it. feel it, yeah, sure, so feel, feel it. it. Yeah. So push, and then you'll feel the little tiny yeah. Layer. Yeah. Yeah. I you feel have it. to like work through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, feel it. We're gonna give it another about minute and a half to two minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna pull it out of there. Now in the meantime, mm -hmm. you're gonna get prepared a cup and a half of frozen peas. Mm -hmm. Just thawed. Okay. So you don't do anything to in the bag, let them thaw out. Mm -hmm. Terry loves using frozen peas. They're great. Honestly, this I is think the it's only dish only I frozen really vegetable we actually use. Frozen like, I really want to learn how to make like a vegan take on a spinach artichoke dip. Mm. Let's do it together. I'm going to learn. It. I'm going to learn and I'll be bringing it to y'all. Yes. We don't have any vegan friends. Everyone that I cook for, I have to like convince to try it. Yeah. If we yeah. know that feeling. Okay. Timer, what's that for? Oh my God, it's for the paella. Oh. The paella? Yeah, not the rice? No. My rice one is on my phone. Okay. We can even get it in a minute or two more. Want to see me? Yeah. I feel it. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. We're gonna have to add salt and pepper, I'm sure. But I'll make it too tough. Is it hot? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Is it tough? You need just a couple minutes. Okay. Two but not more liquid? Mm -hmm. You taste that. Mm. What do you think? I feel like I don't have texture on its own, but I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna have to taste it. Oh, that's good. And yeah. with the shrimp in there. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Yeah, we're getting oh, there. We're getting oh, there. Yeah. I'm gonna check on the situation. I'm gonna check on the situation. Let Shory taste it. Smell it outside. Oh, okay. the door. Really? <laughs> This is still a little bit tough. Roll it like really, really good. Roll it again. It's hot. Oh wow, it's so good. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> That's super good. Hey, hey, oh, hot. Mm. Oh, oh. Wait, are you ready? Yeah. Oh! Now I'm the texture's better, so I'm okay. making sure she knows what she's looking for now. You feel me? Mm. Better? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. It has gift to it, but it's... It still, like, has a chew. It has a chew. I love that. Yeah. Not hard. All right. I feel it. My soul feels it. Yeah. Let's go for it. Okay. So what are we going to do next? We're going to pull it off the stove. Okay. While it's not crackle popping. Okay. We're going to put it right here. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your piece. You're going to sprinkle it. 
This is so many little details of like I wouldn't have done this part. I wouldn't have done the part with like letting it sit. Like it just tells you you just gotta like. That's why I was really. No, that's why I was really interested in Liz doing because she knows how to make it from like childhood. Yeah. So I knew when you said a vegan that you were doing just what we do. It's just yeah. taking her. And the only times I make it are on accident. Mm -hmm. But they show me up. taking a homemade recipe and making it vegan. Something you grew up with. That is our channel. That's what we do. Yes, I love it. While everything else is. Nearly done. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make the plantains. So we're gonna make it because we have a lot of them. Okay. I'm gonna make it like different strokes for different folks. Okay. So personally, my version of my noodles is kind of you wanna get like a one to two inch like oil situation going on. Mm -hmm. What I like personally, like if we were making s'mores, I'm the type of person that sets my marshmallow on fire and lets it burn. Oh, that's right. I'm not like a slow baker. <laughs> Right? Too similar for them. Like, <laughs> I feel like that also about my maduros. So I make doms first. He likes them lightly brown. That would be him. So you'll see that first. I'll make that the first half. Okay. And then the second half, I make them burned on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, it just. You're, gonna see. <laughs> you're, you're speaking to my soul. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I forget everything. Always set a timer. Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, but I got to tell you, you're doing good at something that I have a difficult time with, multitasking. Doing, I can make one thing at a time. Really? <laughs> that was me for a so long make, time. Sarah's good at like going back, like you're going from this to this to that. Like The pressure of feeding multiple people uh -huh. puts you in this headspace where you just like figure it out. I don't know. Or look, if you got to make everything separately, then nothing's ready until everything's ready. So <laughs> yeah. if they're hungry, they'll wait. Right. And and how much there is, how much there is. For period. When it's gone, it's gone. Really it. So for you guys, I would put it in there and you hear that really soft mm -hmm. simmer, mm -hmm. how it didn't like shh. Mm -hmm. Mine, they're going to shh. Uh -huh. so I like to shock them. Um, I do also normally, right now we're using uh, olive oil. I recently started using avocado oil when I make these, and I really yeah, like it because it's a higher heat. Mm -hmm. But that's because, you know, I like them burnt. So, mm -hmm. notes based on your preference. <laughs> right. So, to make them the Derek way, we're going to do about a minute and a half okay. on each side. Mm -hmm. That's the light way. That's the light way. And I check them, like, they're not one of those that they lose their grace and intelligence when you flip them multiple times. Mm -hmm. So it'll tell you to flip it once, but if my soul tells me otherwise, it won't ruin it to <laughs> like flip it more. You can make mistakes and it can be just fine. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Messy but, but good. Say, That's yeah, what I always say. Right, honey? Messy, Messy but good. Messy but good. good. That's Messy what we say. That's true. Yeah, we're just trying to keep the potatoes under, Very, under yeah. the earth. And then whenever you're feeling it, you just fork check the potatoes as soon as they're tender, they're done. Oh, yeah. So, what'd you guys just say about the food? How much longer? Yeah. Got the lounge in here. Why are y'all separated? Why are y'all separated? separated from the men? Why y'all separated from the men? What is that? I'm just behind the camera. Look, the guys out there. Look at all these male dogs. And they're good. I love the men. They're good. good. Strong places for going. How are you doing over there, honey? I'm good. I'm just waiting for my potatoes to get tender. I love them. They look great. They're just terrible, crunchy. Yeah. That's what she said. I have to throw one in, honey. Tell me, honey, I threw one in there. That's, <laughs> she's ignoring me. <laughs> so these are the lightly browned ones from Mr. Derek. Uh -huh. I always say it, but I wish there was like a smell can where people could like smell oh, the yeah. smells that are going on. Yeah. The yeah. smells yeah. that this kitchen is full of is just crazy. This is finished when the potatoes are soft and they're still not that soft. We don't want it to dry out too much, so we're gonna add just a little bit of water on the top, which is going to steam the potatoes. 
like a science project. Yeah, and um, you know, we just don't want it to start burning and sticking. So that's also the way we saute vegetables sometimes, you know, when we put a little oil in there, we want them to steam first. So we might add maybe, you know, a cup of water so that it steams. And then when the water steamed off, then the veggies, the veggies can brown. So as soon as you feel like you're done, I'm mm -hmm. gonna stack them onto a side dish. I try to put it in a single layer so that they don't all stick together. But I mean, if they stick together, they're gonna love each other and you're gonna eat them. But, <laughs> but you know, when you're doing it for serving, like when people are gonna serve themselves, mm -hmm. I'll do them, I'll lay them separately until they're cool, and then you're fine. Mm. Like when, by the time you plate them, if you plate them separately, they'll be fine to be stacked. If you want to, you can take like a little paper towel mm -hmm. and just blot the mm -hmm. excess oil as you're going through. Do you want to lay them on the paper or will that stick? It'll stick. Yeah. So it depends on the type of paper. Some people will do, I forget the type of cloth it is. Mm. Not like a cheesecloth. I was going to say um, cheesecloth. It kind of nice. looks like it, but it's a... Mm, Actually, kind of, you could do a cheesecloth. Like maybe like a towel underneath it or something. Mm -hmm. They kind of puff up. Some of them do. That's just how they're cut. Like it's the piece of it that's cut doesn't have a an end on it, mm -hmm. so they like fluff. Mm -hmm. Some people mash them, like go like this mm -hmm. while they're. Mm -hmm. This would be like this is the guy on the mash while they're frying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason I don't do that is because I like that it's savory on the outside and really sweet on the inside. Mm -hmm. And when you press it, it lets a lot of the sweetness out. Sweetness out. Mm -hmm. Both of the ways are great. I don't discriminate. If it's in front of me, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to fork. I'm trying to pie. Uh, what's happening? Ooh, hot. Oh, it's fire. Yeah? That's fire. Very good. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to add some lemon spices in there. See, I'm definitely going to add some hot sauce, though, but that's good. Oh, this, the shrimp is going to be that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about the shrimp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick it up. Bam! Yeah. Do you need Denise came test to taste test, test, test the plantains. She's like, I need to taste test. Yeah, oh, she got she did the side slap. Oh, the back step. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. As good as he is. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to taste the Derek ones. Mm. Oh, yeah. so good. So good. The biggest thing I love about San Antonio is they all have like a candy outside. It's like a caramel outside with the like the juice. That's why I cut them thinner. Mm. So they have that little crusty caramelized feel. That's some dishes. We added the vegan shrimp. Sure. On top. This is my no. first time uh, what? doing some. Can I show you my trick? Sure. As someone who has cut my finger off mm -hmm. multiple times, just press. Mm, just I'm take two fingers and push it out. Like that. Take two fingers or four and just push it, even if it breaks it a little. This one's not as right. That wasn't a good example, but I did it that way with all of them. <laughs> and none of them broke apart with that one, so we got a good chance. What are we doing over here now? Are these the well done ones? Uh, yeah, we're doing we just uh, we're doing like a mixture of things. Uh, mixing it up. When you make a paella, you don't wanna you wanna okay. try to not scrape the bottom. Mm -hmm. You just wanna go from bottom and flip. That's really just depending on how passionate you are about the crust, but I have cousins that will fight over it. Wow. So. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so you can see the pretty shrimp peeking out. Don't want to hide them from folks. Add some lemon, which is really just, you know, if you want to take one and squeeze mm -hmm. the juice. Mm -hmm. Then I normally will add parsley flakes. And 
What am I tasting? The picadillo. What am I tasting? Tell me if this potato is soft. It still have a little bit of a bite. Oh my god, that's good. No? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That is so mm -hmm. Oh my god. That, you know what? I love the paella, but then, then you know, I love the potato. Can I make you can a never, suggestion? What? Put that on the paella with your shrimp. I love it. You that's can why, never that, go wrong with the potato. What did you just say, honey? Where's your chew? Mm. We plant hands are smacking. Smacking? Mm. So good. <laughs> Ready to try some vegan food, Cap? Oh, yeah, I'm always ready. <laughs> Shot of clock. Shot of clock. Here's making another cut. Wait, where you been? All the food's on. Now me, you come me, back. Me and Riley have been power yeah, talking. Yeah, now you yeah, come yeah, back. Y'all there with Riley. Now you come back when the food's done. Wow, stuck. this looks insane. Y'all yeah. remember the last time we saw him? Yeah. You said he was what? in the prep phase. He was going to go out and say hi, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how he came oh, back just in time. Look, me and Riley were power talking. <laughs> what can I say? You and Robo are best. We found out you guys are the same. Signs, so that's why the energy works. Oh, yeah, it's light <laughs> light 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 energy. Energy. <laughs> what are y'all sneaking to? Wait, wait. Yeah. Sorry, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Stepping on my damn foot. Sorry, mate. I just stepped on you. Everybody come back when the food ready. That's when y'all come in. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Is it strong again or regular? You do not know your father. Also, <laughs> strong, yeah. regular. Keep pouring and then stop when the bottle's empty. How's that? Yeah, I can make one. Kara's making up for the cocktails over here. <laughs> 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 it's my new favorite gadget, and I'm not even drinking. What, 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 what world are we in right now? More cocktail, I would, honey? I would, I, I would like a virtual one. <laughs> Look at her killing it. Look at her killing yeah. it. She gets it. Yeah, doing the things. I'm so excited. Doing all the things. All the things. All the things. All the things. Yes. Okay. We have to get some things. Big Eyes Chews make it look all fancy. You know I like fancy. ASAP. He's freaking insane. out. He's like, wait, is this how you make the drink? What? <laughs> <laughs> you see this? Hi. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful invention. I've never seen it. Beautiful invention. I never know. Me too. When she pulled it out, I was like, wait, oh, hold up, so hold up, hold up. They got sections for the out. They got vodka, yeah. gin, yeah. Yeah. they got whiskey and tequila. Yeah. No, yeah. no. All of the things. Shout out to this event. <laughs> She's out here working on the fire. They're talking about making s'mores lately. Late, later. Talking about making s'mores lately. Late, late, late. I had a couple cocktails. Cocktails? You try the new, <laughs> cocktails. You try the new machine? The cocktail machine? Yeah. Yeah, I tried it. I yeah. liked it. Shrimpsy in there, they're mine. Is that enough? Yeah. You want more? How many shrimp in there? It's already pretty. Hey, give me another one. I don't know. There's shrimp. Give me another shrimp in there. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Oh, you said you're making his food. Cousins that fight over that. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's it. So my abuela, yes. she used to make us oh, eat what? the entire oh, middle. Say? What did you just say? My abuela, oh, she used to make us eat the entire middle. No one could touch the bottom. Uh -huh. Because in our family, we do second and third plates. You know, like okay. seven by card and domino games. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the night, mm -hmm. it's like whoever's winning is taking the bottom of the pan. Oh, oh so you guys play the game. You ever did that? dominoes like, or poker. And that was the reward. My I was love that. She gambles her most prized Wait, ingredients. Wait, is this her recipe? Okay. Technically, no, no it's really it's like that. That's okay. Like my interpretation of it. Let me try it. It's good. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> no, I eat it. She approves, she approves, Liz. She approves. So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Do you like it? Yeah. The non vegan show is never hers, it's mine. So. Uh, was hers yours? It's mine, it's hers. Let's taste it. Hold on, let me see. Alright, so we're going to touch that hair, so this right. Yeah, so this is really good. I did one of them. Vegan! Are you okay? I didn't make it longer than them. But like just like what? Like birthday? No, you yeah. haven't. What do you mean? Oh, no, yeah. you have not. I thought oh, we went vegan first. Voices. I know. <laughs> For 20 days. Yes. Um, <laughs> For 20 days. Well, we tried it first. Oh. I've been vegan just as long as the new guys have. Yeah. Yeah, I think we started out at the same time. Non-vegan. Right? Yeah. Slime? Like it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not vegan on Love Island yeah. or when you got back. I was on there, but I didn't really have enough options, so I ended mm -hmm. up eating meat because they didn't have enough protein. Okay. So I felt like I was dying. Okay. Yeah. It was in Fiji. Yeah, yeah. And how long were you gone? Like six weeks? Yeah, how long? And then it was a week with the row. Like, yeah, every you're kind of so. Yeah, so I'm an actual yeah. carnival yeah. pizza. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just an option. I'm trying to get a nice bite. That's all the day we're getting with vegetables. And then I was like, why do I feel like that? That's it. No, really? Yeah, it's really good. The vegan shrimp is really good. Right? Yeah, well, what? We got a new recipe we learned. Oh my gosh. You guys are gonna like this. Yeah. You guys are gonna love it. We're the best place to be vegan. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait. I'm ready. This, you want to be <laughs> this is a hit. Thank you so much, girl. You gotta come back and make something again. Um, you know, you know, she's a woman, so it has to be good for you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's so fire already. No, right, he doesn't. Right. He tells me it's not good. Oh, he does? <laughs> He's a... <laughs> Is it good? I'm crazy. Yay! Yeah. The spice <laughs> in it is so perfect. Good. Yeah, honestly, it's the pop. It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. At the, um... No. Um, you can do that. Alright, I won't say it. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. It's like, hey. No, it's so good. It's so good? Like, like that, yeah. what you just say if it's not good, you just won't say anything? Yeah, I'll just be like, oh. And it's really good. I am too. Ooh, I can't wait to go out right. so far. I smell it. I got my shrimp. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. The spiciness is so good. Here's the spiciness, the vegan shrimp in it. Yeah, that's why I need to try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. Wait a minute, I gotta try this. Yummy. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy good. This, oh my god. Shake it from a bed, but wonder can you make it clap? Control me, better tat tat tat. I'm gripping on your hips, hit it from the back. Control me, better tat tat tat. Shake it from a bed, but come on, shake it from the air. Shake it from a bed, but come on, shake it from the air. Shake it from a bed, but come on, shake it from the air. Shake it from a bed, but come on, shake it from the air. Shake it from me, baby, make that ass an earthquake. No debate, wanna see you what you need your worst way. Picking up a bottle, cause I know you like some dust. My belly like a model with a mask, gotta fake it, eh? Real she a 10, better than a bench, she gon' shake when I'm a feeling like